Welcome back to Daytime York Region. Today's the perfect opportunity to talk about Journey of the Steel Proof Master. And today we welcome Sensei Scott Bullard. Um, he is here from Canada's Best Karate. And we also have his two girls here, Jenna and Julia, who have also been taking part in this program and learning about uh, self-defense and learning about uh, how to avoid certain situations. Scott, when did this start for you? When did this become an important part of your karate school? Uh, well, I've had my school. I've been teaching for about 18 years. Mm -hmm. And as part of the martial arts training, it always comes up, you know, the self-defense is a key component. And because my school emphasizes uh, our children's program so much, is looking at what are the situations that really affect children. So, mm -hmm. of course, uh, we have bullying on one side and the social interaction they go at school, and that's very big. But the other side, and the real concern for parents, is that street proofing, what to do when they're sort of out of our sight, they're on their own at the playground, or you sort of turn your back for a second in the store, mm -hmm. and what can happen if someone does approach them. Right. And we're always hearing about in the media, you know, Facebook and making sure you monitor what your kids are doing, but how important is it for parents to know what, what's going on out there and to make sure that their kids are protected? I think awareness is sort of the big thing when we're talking to the kids and for parents. Mm -hmm. uh, just knowing uh, who your kids are involved with, whether it's on an uh, internet chat site, mm -hmm. whether it's their friends, um, social uh, circles. Even uh, adult uh, role models or people in their lives is you want to know them, be involved in that way, you feel more comfortable and you know you have that relationship and that rapport set up mm -hmm. as well so you're you're interactive with their day and you know who they're talking to and well we actually have um, we wanted to talk today about journey of the steel proof master. When did you discover this? This last, method. Uh, last year, uh, it was uh, introduced to me through a, a martial arts professional association that I'm a member of, and they were introducing the Journey of Steel Proof Master program to uh, member schools. Mm -hmm. So I looked at it and I thought it was a very intriguing combination of media and imagination right. and the movie concept with something that I was teaching in my school. So I, I became a licensed uh, presenter and using the video in an interactive format, we combine uh, watching the show with role playing with the kids so that we act out what they've seen and get that involved and get them identifying and thinking about what they've just uh, been viewing. Mm. Perfect. I think it's time to see a clip. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at a, a small clip from Journey of the Steel Proof Master. Now I will show you each of the 10 in their true forms the forms that these cowards hide from waking eyes. Behold, the gift giver. With gifts, treats, and treasures, he will tempt you, try to lure you away. Friendly, he is a liar. He pretends to be your friend, showering you with compliments and attention, for that is what we all crave. Wow, that was really good. Very good. So that was actually one of the 10 evil warriors that we can learn about in this, uh, in this production. This one that we saw was the gift giver. So maybe we could ask Jenna what we need to be aware of from the gift giver warrior. What do they do? Well, the gift giver, like, gives you gifts and, like, oh, I've got some games in my cart. Come with me. Oh, right. tries and to lure you. Tries to sneak you. Or candy or anything like that. So be aware for that. Julia, first of all, she's a future star. Look at the smile. Let me see the smile. There it is. <laughs> what did you learn from the DVD? I learned that... If you see anybody that your parents don't know, or if you don't know, you shouldn't just go off and say hi to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know who is a stranger and who's yeah. someone that you can trust. Okay, so these girls obviously watched the movie. Did it, did it stay with them after you know, the first initial viewing? Well, it did. I sort of used them as my test market. <laughs> yeah. We watched the video at home, and a couple of days later, Juliet came up to me and said, you know, hey, Dad, let's go through the 10 evil warriors, and we started trying to pick them off. And that was kind of the first sign that I saw, okay, this does, you know, the kids yeah. retain it. And that's sort of the, the big thing that I wanted to use the video to do is mm -hmm. that, you can do all kinds of stranger danger training, but once they leave that environment, how much do they retain? And right. this helps sort of connect them a little bit strong, more strongly to the material that they're learning. I think Absolutely. the best part, and what we got from that clip was, a lot of times, I remember growing up, you'd watch these videos and they'd be so boring. 
And mm. it seems like this is really exciting and the kids are actually gonna enjoy watching it. Well, that's it, you know, keeping their attention is a key part of that. So the, mm -hmm. the excitement of the fantasy movie, and it has a progression, introduces the main characters and uh, they get introduced to the warriors and then there's a little confrontation at the end that uh, is sort of you know fun for the kids that way, but the, the heart of the message is recognizing the types of uh, lures that these predators might use. Mm -hmm. So have you guys practiced these things with your dad? Talking mostly yeah. talking about the different different uh, evil warriors that could be out there and how what to do if you come across one, right? Good girls. Okay, they're so good. <laughs> so Scott, maybe you could tell us about the program that you offer at your school, and sort of what ages it targets. Uh, well, at our school we have uh, programs for ages four and up. Uh, so four to five year olds in one group, then we have our school age, six to 12 year olds, and then teens and adults. And each program is uh, presenting uh, martial arts training at an age appropriate level that combines for the children, uh, physical uh, exercise, um, self-defense skills, as well as the, the street proofing, the mental awareness, and just a, a lot of focusing and discipline uh, aspects. We try to mm -hmm. link it to their schoolwork, their uh, responsibilities at home, so that it all uh, sort of works together in the things that they're doing on a daily basis. And with our teens and adults, a uh, strong emphasis on just physical fitness, uh, and again, the uh, sort of stress relief um, and uh, self-defense training, sort of real practical uh, skills that, uh, you know, if you need it, you know they're there. Exactly. And if people are looking to get a hold of the DVD, how can they go about doing that? Uh, they can either come to my website, uh, canisbestkarate.ca, and there's information there, and there's also a link to the uh, website that produces the uh, video. It's uh, adventuresinsafety.net, and mm -hmm. they can also purchase uh, DVD copies directly from there and watch it on their own with their kids. Perfect. All right, stay tuned for more daytime. We're going to be coming back with Aurora Mardi Gras.